tell, Luna is here with me. And so she only gets to do this with me on days that she's actually off. Uh, we are celebrating spring bake. <laughs> spring bake. We are celebrating spring, spring break, break by renovating one of our bathrooms. And uh, you know what? I had all kinds of ideas about things I could talk to you about as we're doing that. But one of the biggest things is if you've known me for very long and you know Luna, you probably think those guys are renovating the bathroom. Let me tell you, if we're doing it, anybody can do it. We're a bunch of nerds. We're, we're, <laughs> we're <laughs> out here. of the box nerds. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we want to talk to you about today. Boxes. Boxes. Each one of us have been put in a box. We've been put in boxes by our families, we've been put in boxes by, by schools, by our jobs, and even sometimes by the church. Boxes, sometimes we can look at them as comfort zones. They are boundaries that aren't necessarily from God, but they keep us from being everything that God created us to be. Jesus Christ came, and he said to give us abundant life. Abundant life does not fit in a box. So Luna, you're in high school. Mm -hmm. What are some of the boxes that you see in high school? Um, I think the way you look. Mm -hmm. um, like the groups of people, like emo, goth, athletes, um, nerds, geeks, art, artsy, artists, fartsy arts, people. artsy, fartsy people. <laughs> um, yeah, and so like I float around. Yeah, I'm, I can be emo. I can be god. I can gotta be athletic. <laughs> I, yeah. Sometimes I could be a geek. Uh, I I like floating around. I don't like staying in one certain group. Why is that? Because you're like contained and you have to do like one certain kind of thing. Like you, if you're an athlete, you do this mm. and you focus on what you're you're playing, and that's not what I do. <laughs> Luna is Luna is our creative one. And so it's like, it, there's been times when I've come to you and I've said, Luna, I need you to paint this for me. And it needs to look like this and be this and here's, do this and this and this and this. I put all these boxes around what I'm so Yes. <laughs> yes. And how does that go? I don't do it. <laughs> she doesn't do it. <laughs> because if it forces her into a place where she can't be herself. Mm -hmm. You can't do the gifts that God's given you because of all the restraints around you of trying to fit into something, right? Mm -hmm. And I think it's interesting that, that Jesus, when he chose the 12 disciples, he went out of the cultural and religious box of the time. He reached fishermen. He reached tax collectors who were despised by that culture. He reached out to them and brought them into his world and said, follow me. Isn't that wild? A lot of us would have said, no way, don't pick that guy. He can't speak well enough. He is, he's, hasn't gone to all the right seminaries. He doesn't have the right degrees. We have these boxes that we create. But Jesus was constantly reaching out to people in the world and tearing down the box that the world had put upon them and saying, come with me. None of us will fully be what we were created to be as long as we are happy living in a box. You weren't made to be in a box. Boxes are an insecurity for people. It can be a safe place. It could be um, kind of, it's like a place where you could hide. Um, you, for like younger people, you really have to step out of that box because when you step out of that box, you find your true identity and you can be more out there and outgoing because you are not hiding in something. Mm. You are not um, being your true self if you're doing that. And God doesn't want you to do that. He wants you to step out. And, and when you're praying for someone or you're scared about how they would like, think of you or anything, it's... Um, you really have to step out of that because it doesn't. It's not what it seems. Mm. Um, God wants you to kind of like step out of a bubble. You know, Good. you're floating yeah. everywhere, but you really have to like stand ground and kind of like express yourself the way God wants you. 
you didn't create you to be a plain person or like a stereotypical um, whatever whatever box you've been in. That's right. That's right. Come out of the box. And join the dark side. No, no dark side. No dark side. Happy side. Yes. Yes. <laughs>